Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Molten Core co-op gameplay is here and in this video I'm going to take a look at Magmadar, the second boss in Molten Core, and show you how to beat it. The minis that you will meet in Magmadar Encounter are Drake, Earth Elemental, Execute, Fire Elemental, Firehammer, Pyromancer and Skeleton Party, and then of course the ancient core hounds that are close to Magmadar, but they are the map mechanic. These are the ones that Magmadar is going to play from his hand. At the start of the fight, Magmadar has three ancient core hounds. And ancient core hounds, when one of them dies, the others will resurrect it at 50% health, and they resurrect it really, really quickly, much faster than the regular core hound resurrection. However, this resurrection range is limited, much like untalented cohounds. So if you kill some cohounds at one end of the map and others on the other side, then they will not resurrect each other. So you have opportunity to group them up and try to kill them at once, or you can also separate them and kill them little by little. Both of those approaches work. You need to watch out for Earth Elementals and Skeleton Parties in this one, because those are unbound and they will attack from the middle towards your base very often, so just don't let them surprise you too much. Sometimes they are somewhat directly at your base, sometimes a little bit further away, but they are coming. There are also two chests in the Magmadar map, and that presents an opportunity for Defias Bandit Suit Pick Lock, because that will just give both players a bunch of gold. But I have done Magmadar both with and without Defias Bandit, so they are by no means mandatory, although they were quite nice. As for the phases in Magmadar, whenever Magmadar goes through a phase change, Magmadar is going to resurrect all of the ancient cohounds at 100% health, so they're going to come back at full health, and he's going to summon one more. So you start with three cohounds, then there's going to be four cohounds, and then there's going to be five cohounds. And all at 100% health at the start of a phase, so you need to wear them down a little bit before you can just blast them down. As an upside, Magmadar does not take the tower at phase change. He resurrects the ancient cohorts where they died, so if they died at your tower, yeah, they're going to start attacking your tower immediately there. But that's somehow manageable, so this actually makes Magmadar one of the easier bosses. As for how to counter Magmadar, Execute is an excellent spell in this map as well, because Execute can get rid of multiple ancient core hounds. Core hounds are not bosses, they're regular minis, so they take full Execute damage. Willbore is another spectacular mini in this one, to pull core hounds together so that they can be executed easier, and also to turn Magmadar around. Magmadar is like Imoltar in Diamol, he has a cone shaped elemental attack, which deals quite a bit of damage. Quillbore turn Magmadar around and your DPS can just come in. And this is what Magmadar fight looks like in action. So here we go up against Magmadar. I'm bringing my Talnos army. Ainway has brought Emperor Torsen, but of course we both have the execute Quillbore style, so all the essential minis. I'm trying to take the chest here first with the ghoul, and I noticed that an earth elemental is coming down the mid. There's going to be a lot of minis coming down the mid, and you need something to counter them, so here Talnos is doing that job. Well, I end up being in quite a battle. There's the skeleton party, there's a pyromancer, a lot of enemies fighting for this left side, but I am victorious, and I managed to grab the chest, and then I'm sending an assault at the tower. Just basic stuff, you know. Harpies, Willbore. Things are looking up. Talnos killed the other mental fights in the middle. Not getting too much done, but still just enough. We need to start getting some chip damage into those core hounds before we before we go for the full kill. Now I'm starting to get access to the tower. There's a fire elemental trying to take it down. It's okay. And again, something coming down the mid. These attacks coming down the mid are something that you just need to pay attention to and eliminate. And here I'm sending Talos in and as you can see, Ainway on the other side is facing an earth elemental and sent a fire hammer to deal with that. Fire hammer probably not quite the fully optimal optimal one for this one, but doors and arms let's just allow that one to be used. So that's what we went with. The army composition is not super strict, but there are some key minis, like from this one, the Execute and the Quill Boar, which you really, really want to use. So there I'm helping anyway a little bit. And as you can see, that core hound that got killed there is not getting resurrected. Well, this core hound on the left side sadly is getting resurrected right now. So I'm in a bit of a pickle facing all these core hounds. 
Trying to get some stuff out there and then an execute and boom. All right. All the core hounds are down. Core hounds are not necessary to kill. I mean, you could theoretically at least kill Magmadar without even killing the core hounds. And I know that there have been some some cases where people have used like Meat Wagon, for example, to just deal damage to Magmadar directly. But I do think it's overall more consistent to just take down the core hounds, face Magmadar, take down the core hounds, face Magmadar, and so on. So here we got actually a really big assault in <laughs> right at the start, and Magmadar went through two phases at once. So yeah, two phase changes, and as you can see, there are now lots of core hounds. I managed to take down one of the towers as well. And what we're pushing a counterattack towards that tower, and we're pushing pushing here as well. Right, trying to get some poppies to deal damage to the core hound and get it down finally. Need to also mine a little bit. With elemental coming through the middle. You need to be careful about that middle. It's kind of hard to defend the other side of the middle lanes. You can do it with some long range, long range units, but that was a little bit difficult. Now there's so many core hounds lined up, and one execute has been spent, and the other execute is there, and boom. Alright, core hounds down once again. And once again, stuff coming through the mid. And this is where stuff like Pyromancer, stuff like Talnos is really strong. Just dealing damage to AoE damage to those incoming minis and also elemental damage to the earth elementals. And they can also hit Drake, so just very flexible minis. I would like to have at least two minis that can kill Drake in my arm here. And there we go. Magmadar is down. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.